All right, we're going to continue in the web application security chapter and the security filter section. Now, what we do here is um, we create what's called a uh, a filter, and um, and we use this to enforce an authorization policy. So this is where we say which kind of users can access uh, which resources in the application. So this, um, this filter is called a servlet filter. That's how we're going to implement it. There's other ways of doing it, but this is, uh, this is um, an obvious way. And this servlet filter is, in fact, um, uh, something that you uh, configure in the deployment descriptor. So let's go to the deployment descriptor. It's similar to a servlet. So you actually, we have, we have a listener here. We have a servlet. So we've configured those two types of things. And we can uh, also configure another type of thing which is called a filter and uh, just put that in here actually it might be better to put this up in the uh, the front let's uh, it's just fine actually where it is so this is called a security constraint that's one section here's the filter itself filter is like a servlet and uh, similar to a servlet, there's a filter mapping, which is the URL pattern that um, that uh, is uh, tells Tomcat which uh, which URLs need to be uh, uh, need to have their requests pass through the filter before making their way to the servlet. So you can see here we have a. Um, take a look at this security constraint this um what this does here is it um, it says that um, for this URL pattern slash login that uh, we want the um, we want to use HTTPS. That's essentially what this says. Now it says it in a, in a kind of an indirect way. It's a little hard to get. So we, we define this web resource collection. Here's the web resource collection uh, element. It ends here, starts there. And uh, we have a, resor a web resource name, which is publisher. And the it's associated that web resource name is associated with this URL pattern, which is one of our um, which is which is connected to one of our servlets. And then we add something called a user data constraint, um, and so we put it in the same security constraint here. So we identify this web resource collection the things that match this uh, URL pattern, we say that we want that to be confidential. Confidential means that no one can see the information. So an intermediate point, like a router or a link, along the way between the, the server and the client, that um, that the, the packets that are, um, that pass through that point uh, can be, um, can be viewed by um, by someone with access to that that part of the network, but they won't be able to understand what's in the the data that's in the packets because they've been encrypted. That's essentially what this means. So we want to make sure we did this because we want to, we don't need the whole application to be to go over HTTPS, but we want our password to be uh, submitted uh, over HTTPS. So that's the purpose of this security constraint. This security filter here has a different purpose. This security filter, uh, we call it security filter. Sorry, this this filter, this servlet filter, is um, the purpose of this is to enforce our auth authorization policy. All right, that's that. So let's move on here. 
You can read about that more in the book. Here's the security filter. It implements the uh, filter class or extends the filter class. Let's put that in web and uh, let's create a class called security filter. It extends filter. Let's uh, resolve that. It's not this one. It's not this one. It's in fact uh, hmm. I don't see it in here. Why does this not show up? I better check on that. So the filter is a should be in the Java X servlet uh, package. So that's how that. I wonder why that doesn't show up. Let me try it again. Oh, I see. I didn't scroll down. That's it. Is that it? No. I don't see Java X servlet in here. Maybe I'm just missing it, but does not show up in the list. Hmm. I should have the um, in the uh, class path here in reference libraries. I'm sure that the servlet API is listed in there. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to build the other files. So. Uh, let's just, that's a little odd, I don't understand what's going on there. So we'll need to grab um, that package name and I paste that in there. Let's see if that works. Filter. Hmm. Oh, 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 that's the problem. Let me kill that. The uh, it's not a uh, it's not a class it's a interface. Just delete that for now. See this um, implements filter. So filter is in fact uh, a um, an interface. So we need to uh, create that a little bit differently. So let's go new class and it's a security filter and this time it's an interface we click on add let's filter and it should show up here there it is right there that one let's add that one and uh, that didn't seem to work so it's this one right here If I hit OK on that, there it is. Good. Anyway, we have the entire code here. We could have simply created a class and not worried about that whole step actually because we're just pasting over top of the code that was generated. Just clean that up a little. So there's an init method, you have to override that. Here's a do filter method. And uh, basically, I'm not going to go into that. So you can read through the code and also the description in the book. That's the security filter. And uh, I think that's it. Let's take a look. Stop and start to publish your application. Verify that login and logout functions correctly. And uh, after logging out, try to access a protected resource. So right now, our um, security, our authorization policy should be in effect after restarting. And uh, we can actually look in the code to see what that is. So. If, look at this, so when the filter runs, this is when, uh, you know, the request is passed into our filter. In by co this uh, Tomcat calls do filter. We just pull some information out that we're going to need. Then we check to see, this is the, this is the path that's being requested. So for login, we do chain.do filter. That means we let the request pass through to the next processor on the chain and which is in our case going to be um, the login servlet. 
uh, if the filter if the request matches slash news.rss, we don't require authentication. Anybody can access our news feed. We, all, we call do filter on this chain object as well. By the way, chain gets passed in here as an argument. And uh, But for all other resources provided by the application, we're going to enforce a policy. And uh, we're going to require that the user be logged in. Uh, so what we do there is we pull the session out of the request object, check to see if the user ID is a, is an attribute. So when we when we do a successful login, we store the user ID under attached to this key user ID. We store that in what's called the session, and so we uh, we look for it. If we find it there, it means we're logged in. If we are logged in. Then we allow the request to come through by calling do filter on the chain. Otherwise, we're just going to redirect to the login page and we'll let the user in. So let's see if that works. Go to the manager application. Stop. Start. And uh, I just hit enter on here. I'm going to hit refresh. Watch, well, it should send me to the login page. There it is put in a bad one, nothing works, put in a good one, Alice this time, Alice, and it's sending me to home, I can list, I can create, and, uh, and I can log out, so let me log out and I'll try to access the, um, Maybe I'll try to access this create news item uh, page here. So first I log out. Now to test that, I'm going to paste that link back in there. I'm going to try to access this create news item uh, resource without uh, logging in. I see it sends me back to the login page. So to get there, I need to, uh, to log in as any user in the system. Now if I were to paste, do the same exercise now that I'm logged in, I can get there. So that is uh that's it. That's the that's the section on security filter.